Good morning, children. Let us start our new chapter, that is, chapter number eleven, light, shadows, and reflections. A new chapter it is. Okay. So now this comes in our second term. It is this chapter is in our second term, as our uh, two chapters from the first term is over. So today we can start our new chapter light light what does it mean by light light means and you can see everywhere during day time everywhere you can see light night time if bulb is glowing if the tube light is glowing you can see the light can you see the things around us yes so many things you can while coming from school back to home uh, on the way you can see a lot of things what all things you can see like trees buses cars animals flowers buildings houses car shelter so many things you can see suppose you come Uh, come on the way during or at night time and it is completely dark now can you see things if it is fully dark completely dark no no street light nothing is there no that time or that that way you cannot see anything what all things you saw during the day time you cannot see at night time if there is no straight light also at all <clears throat> but when you uh, or suppose when you enter into your house suddenly light off can you see anything no current goes and you what you do you have to take your emergency or candle and then you have to see the things at that time you can see so without light things cannot be seen and light is very important in our life light is like our life only it takes us from darker to brightness how we move towards the brightness same way light also take us from darkness to brightness so if there is no light you cannot see anything light only help us to see things around us or see things everywhere last chapter you have learned about the torch if only torch is there can you see things no there is a bulb inside the torch which gives out light which gives out light and then with that light you can see the object so when you torch on the bulb glows and produces light that means torch has its own light you can see the sun sun also gives its own light and so many things you can see like candle bulb tube light emergency you must be thinking how the emergency if you on only it produces light but still when you on it produces its own light suppose the sun sunlight it falls on the book if you have kept a book on table or outside when the sunlight falls on the book it shines that uh, does it means the book has its own light no that the sun sun sondamayittu produce cheyina light aa sunnde velicham ningala bookinne mareyo adayathu road inde vela veenittengile ayinte artham book aa road aano light produce cheyina illa adinne mele veelunnundu pache sun aanu produce cheyina light appo tube light tube light when you on the tube light the light falls on the chair table wall it all shines it all shines but it doesn't mean it has its own light 
it it reflects the light of the tube light it reflects the tube light it reflects the tube light but it doesn't have its own light adhaayi tube nanu sondhamaya velcho tube light nanu sondhamaya velcho it has its own light but the wall the wall reflects the tube light the wall reflects the tube light so the object which has its own light or which emits its own light are called luminous objects the object which has its own light or emits its own light are called luminous object now the as i told you when the light falls on the wall or table chair it also emits light but it doesn't have its own light same way the moon moon produces light but it doesn't have its own light how it reflect it when the uh, when the sun's light falls on the moon it reflects it reflects its light so when you see the moon it is shining but it shines but it reflects the sun's light so you cannot say it is a luminous object a moon is a non luminous object the object which emits the other's light are called non luminous object the object which does not have its own light are called non luminous object the object which does not have its own light are called non luminous non luminous object so what is luminous object the object which gives out or emit light of its own are called luminous object example sun then torch candle emergency all you can say in that luminous object what about non luminous object non luminous object means the object which does not have its own light are called non luminous object you can write moon then table chair wall these all are non luminous object clear yeah. next is luminous and non luminous objects the objects that we see around us can be classified into luminous and non luminous on the basis of ability to emit light luminous objects objects that emit light of their own are called luminous objects sun fireflies fire candle and electric bulb are luminous objects non luminous objects objects that do not emit light of their own but reflect the light falling on them and hence become visible are called non luminous objects moon books metals stones and furniture are non luminous objects why are moon and planets considered as non luminous objects all of you must have seen the moon at night giving out milky white light similarly the planet venus appears like a very bright star during early evening why do we call them non luminous bodies when light is coming from them the simple reason is that they do not produce light of their own instead they reflect the light of the sun falling on them hence they are non luminous bodies transparent opaque and translucent objects in the lower classes you have already studied about these things okay just think about the opaque object what are opaque object when the the object which does not these all things are related with the light so what is opaque object opaque objects are 
when the light falls on an object it does not pass or if you uh, the if you cannot see see through an object it is called an opaque object like wall can you see on the next side through that wall no wall is an opaque object so wall is an opaque object chair table door you cannot see through these things so the object which which cannot pass light through it are called opaque object example wall uh, table chair door all whatever you think you can write okay opaque objects so how many examples are there opaque objects now what about transparent object if you are able to see clearly through an object the object is called transparent or if the object is if the object allows light to pass through them are called transparent object if the object allow light to pass through them like water it should be transparent okay water not a um, dirty water if it is clear water then it is transparent then uh, glass glass is a transparent object next is translucent object if we cannot see uh, uh, cannot see clearly through an object then it is called a translucent object if the light does not pass through it clearly it is called translucent object example frosted glass uh, butter paper if you take a paper and put butter on it then it is a butter paper then it becomes a transparent a translucent so what is transparent if we cannot see through an object at all it is called an opaque object if we are able to see clearly through an object it is called a transparent object if we uh, can see but not clearly then it is called a translucent object so what are the examples of trans uh, of examples of opaque object wall table uh, door etc what about transparent example of transparent is glass clear water uh, translucent examples of translucent are frosted paper frosted glass butter paper okay so next is activity 1 objects are classified as transparent translucent or opaque depending upon their treatment of light objects that allow light to pass through them are called transparent objects most of the light falling upon a transparent object passes through it to the other side thereby allowing us to see through them glass clean air pure water etc are examples of transparent objects objects that do not allow any light to pass through them are called opaque objects as a result we cannot see through them when light falls on an opaque object its shadow is formed on the other side of it wood sheets of metal dark colored plastics rocks etc are examples of opaque objects objects that are partially transparent and partially opaque are called translucent objects they allow light to pass through them in a scattered or diffused manner frosted glass tracing paper greased paper etc are examples of translucent objects that you have to do and record your observation in the table 11.2 and you have to send it to me it is an assignment for you okay what is the activity the activity is you have to look around yourself and collect as many things or as many objects you can collect things like eraser plastic scale pen 
പെൻസിൽ നോട്ട് ബുക്ക് സിംഗിൾ ഷീറ്റ് ഓഫ് പേപ്പർ ട്രേസിംഗ് പേപ്പർ എല്ലാം കളക്ട് ചെയ്യാം ട്രൈ ടു ലുക്ക് എറ്റ് സംതിങ് ഫാർ അവേ ത്രൂ ഈച്ച് ഓഫ് ദിക്സ് സപ്പോസ് യു ഹാവ് ടു ടേക്ക് ദ പെൻസിൽ പെൻസിൽ ലുക്ക് ഇൻ ടു ദറ്റ് പെൻസിൽ ആൻഡ് സീ സംതിങ് ഫാർ അവേ ലൈക്ക് യുവർ ഡോർ ഓർ വിൻഡോ ഓർ സംതിങ് ഫാർ ഓക്കെ ഈസ് ലൈറ്റ് ഫ്രം എ ഫാർ ഓഫ് അവേ ഒബ്ജെക്ട് ഏബിൾ ടു ട്രാവൽ ടു യുവർ ഐസ് ത്രൂ എനി ഓഫ് ദ ഒബ്ജെക്ട് ഇഫ് ദിസ് ഇഫ് ദ ലൈറ്റ് പാസസ് ട്രൂ ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഒബ്ജെക്ട് സപ്പോസ് യു ഹാവ് ടേക്കൻ പെൻസിൽ ഇഫ് ദ ലൈറ്റ് പാസസ് ട്രൂ ആ ഒബ്ജെക്റ്റിലെ കൂടി ലൈറ്റ് പാസ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ലൈറ്റ് ശരിക്കും പാസ് ചെയ്യുന്നില്ല അത് നോക്കിയിട്ട് ആ ഒബ്സർവേഷൻ നോക്കിയിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ അവിടെ എഴുതണം സപ്പോസ് ഇപ്പോൾ പെൻസിലാണെങ്കിൽ ലൈറ്റ് പാസ് ചെയ്യില്ല സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എൻ ഒപ്പേക്ക് ഒബ്ജെക്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ So in the table 11.1 you have to write there pencil in object material you write pencil view through the object possible partially not at all you write here possible not possible not at all view through the object in that you write not at all not at all possible then object is opaque transparent translucent avade irudva it is opaque object അതുപോലെ കുറേ ഒബ്ജെക്റ്റ് കളക്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ആ ഒരു ടേബിൾ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് യു ഹാവ് ടു സെൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ടു മീ വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റി യു വിൽ കം ടു നോ വെദർ ദ ഒബ്ജെക്ട് ഇസ് വെദർ ദ ഒബ്ജെക്ട് ഇസ് ട്രാൻസ്പെറൻറ്റ് ട്രാൻസ്ലൂസൻറ്റ് ഓർ ഒപ്പേക്ക് ഓക്കെ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു ഹാവ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് എനി ഹോപ്പ് വി ഹാവ് ഓൺലി ടു ചാപ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഫോർ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ടേം സോ നോ വിൽ ഗോ ലിറ്റിൽ സ്ലോ ഓക്കെ സോ ടുഡേ ദിസ് മച്ച് ഇസ് എനഫ് You have to study a lot. Okay? Okay, thank you.